Hey everybody, Jake here, and today I have a quick unboxing and initial impressions of a really, really cool pen. Um, so let's go ahead and open this up um, using the CRKT Ruger LCK today. Really impressed with this knife, especially for the uh, fairly low price point. Really, really nice knife. Let's go ahead and open it up. So this company, um, I believe it's pronounced Millum. They make some really, really cool pens. You can only get them on Etsy as far as I can tell. But um, I'm really, really excited for this. Let's go ahead and take a look. Look at the package in this Millum bag, which is kind of interesting, honestly. Let's jump in here and we got a few things. So let's see what we've got here. So first up, this is actually an inkwell. Um, if I can figure out how to how to open it here, let's see. Oh, you just pull it off. Okay, that works. No, I'm sorry. This is the case for the inkwell. It looks like. Yeah. So this is the inkwell. That is awesome looking. Holy crap! That's cool. Definitely has an O-ring on it. Oh yeah. That's that's a good solid seal. And that is that is really, really cool. It even has a freaking ink window for it. So you can see what your fill level is on that. And I believe this is the bronze uh, version. So let's go ahead and we'll set that down. That is a really awesome uh, bit of packaging they have that in there. That's really, really cool. So it's like extra security for your inkwell if you'd like it. Um, I personally think that's amazing. So let's go ahead and um, open this part up. I wonder what this could be. Not like I already told you or anything. And here we have the Millim pen. This is a fountain pen. I actually saw this pen um, on the Instagram of... Uh, his, his YouTube channel is the Offstage Me. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He actually goes by his real name on there. Sorry. Mick's channel. Um, I'll, I'll post a link down in the descriptions. You guys definitely need to check him out. He does some great videos. Um, anyway, um, I saw this on his Instagram, and I was really interested, and I reached out. So, um, Millen was very, very kind to send these to me. This uh, really, really cool inkwell, and this very, very awesome pen. And it actually has a little bit of tape that we can cut. Any excuse to use a knife. All right. So very, very cool packaging. Um, it's very, very dense plastic. Or at least that's what it feels like. Very snug fit. So this is a really, really cool looking pen. It has a uh, polished finial there, so you can actually see me. Hello. Yeah. Well, it does kind of warp everything. That's okay. Um, and uh, looks like more of a brush finish and a po polished end cap as well. Oh, wow. That is some very... I like the threading a lot. That was a very quick release on that. And it is a screw to post. So initial impressions, I really like the weight. Um, the machining on this is excellent as well. And you can actually see the uh, the name Millen. Um, looks like it's actually hand engraved in there. I could be wrong. This is a Schmidt nib. Haven't had a whole lot of experience with those, so I'm pretty excited for that. This is a medium, as you can see there. Um, the section is a little small, but to be honest, um, it's not much different than the Lilliput. And I'll bring that pin out here in just a second to compare. And let's go ahead and unscrew this. I believe this comes with a converter. I could be wrong, but let's see. This is a lot of rotations. They really secure this pin. It does come with a converter. This is a, a very unique little converter. Um, so what you actually have to do is get this little lever here and pull it up and you'll suck up your ink. And then you can clean it out the same way and you can uh, rotate it to lock it. That way if it does happen to kind of go down, it won't you know, expunge all of your ink. Very strange little fitting on the end here. 
Um, it looks like it is standard international, though. So if you want to run cartridges in this instead, you most certainly can. Let me do the infinite number of turns it takes to get this back on, which is actually not a bad thing, to be honest. I would much rather have too many threads than not enough threads on the uh, section to body mesh. So let me check something real quick. Yeah, this pen's long enough, at least for me, to use um, unposted if I had to. Definitely prefer to post it, to be honest. But let's go ahead and uh, take a look. So here is the Milam fountain pen. Here is the Caveco Lilliput in copper. So you can see this pen is a little bit longer and a little bit wider. Let's go ahead and compare the posted lengths. This pen's a little bit longer than the Lilliput, so if the Lilliput is a little bit too short for you, posted, maybe check this one out. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how this how this pen goes. I will leave a link down to the Etsy shop so you can go check them out. And um, definitely, definitely go and take a look. Also, I do have, <clears throat> I believe this is the bronze. It looks like it may be brass. I'm not sure, but I do have a... Um, some patina bronze here to show you kind of what that looks like. So, if this is bronze, this is probably what it's going to end up looking like. And you can see there's some, actually, some greenish blue as well on the bottom there. So I'm really excited to see how this pen uh, develops characteristic patina over time. It's not right, character. Anyway, um, very, very nice pen, very nice machining. Really like the polishing on the end cap and fitting. I think it's really, really cool. Curious to see how the nib performs, and that inkwell is really, really awesome as well. So I will go ahead and carry this for a few weeks, and I will come back and do a review of both of these products. So far, I'm very, very impressed with the work. Um, the price is a little up there, but we'll decide if it's warranted or not. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day, and um, thanks for watching. Bye.